Let's get along to the Beko Kitchen. Chef Mark, you always make us feel good on a Friday with fantastic food. And I see pork, one of my faves. So what are we doing with it? <laughs> right, so we're going to do Chinese braised pork. Mm. So it's really, really simple. We're using the pork belly there. So we've got nice lots of uh, meat and lots of fat to keep it nice and juicy. Great. And then we're going to cook it in a, just a really simple stock. So it's almost like a basic master stock. Yum. We've got a, a really thick uh, sweet soy sauce there. Mm -hmm. uh, some normal soy, a little bit of sugar, which we're going to caramelize, ginger, spring onions, and the Shaoxing wine. Nice. Really simple. Takes a little bit of time to cook, but it is well worth the wait. Okay, looking forward to that. Great to have you with us here in the Beko Kitchen. And Mark, we've got an alternative to the usual Sunday roast. We certainly have braised Chinese oh, pork. Yum! Okay, let's get going. Right, so, pork belly. Yes. Uh, this is what you want to use. So just always double check your pork belly in case you've got any bones or they still leave it on the uh, ribs. Okay. So take those out, you leave the skin on, mm -hmm. and then we're just going to dice this. Okay. okay. So sharp knife, go Yum. through the skin. And we'll just do it into nice little chunks. Like what, sort of generous. one to two centimetres yeah, squared? Yeah. yeah, sort of generous generous chunks. Okay, cool. Generous chunks. Chunks. <laughs> I love All right. accent. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're talking. Right, so get it like that. And I've got some water um, just coming up to the boil in there. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sort of, we're almost going to, well, sort of blanch Boil? it. Blanch it, okay, yeah. cool. So this is the first part of the cooking. So uh -huh. that goes that goes in there, and we'll bring that up to the boil. What do we do that for? Just to warm up the meat, or...? Uh, just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is winter. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe... Well, just to, just to set it and... and, and there and you go, take... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> to warm it, it sounds better. Than... <laughs> right, in there, you're going to put a little bit of the uh, Chinese wine in there. Okay. Gershing. What's the official name for that? Shaoxing. Okay, nice. Easy to get? Uh, yeah, you yeah. can get it in okay, supermarkets great. now. It's really good. Right, so, I've got, so there's going to be a lot of ginger in this recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to get some slices. So I'm just going to peel it. I'm going to mm. peel it into a square. Yes. Right, and then all these uh, trimmings. You know, we always say keep them and then do something with them. Now, finally, we've We're got a do recipe something. and we okay. can use them. All right, so keep all the good uh, ginger for that. Yes. So all these... Uh, oh, right. Of, uh, bits of gingers, that can go in there as well. That's gonna help flavor the pork. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of spring onion as well. Okay, so it's all on the braising really, isn't it? To eat your nice braised pork. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, this is so this is gonna be the first stage. So bring it up to the boil, simmer it for about four minutes, and then we'll strain it off, dry it, and then we've got to um, start frying it in a pan. Oh, yum. And then we build in uh, our braising liquor around that. So we're infusing the pork at the moment with the right flavors, spring onion, bit of ginger. It's nice and warm, which is good. Pork's happy. <laughs> Everyone loves happy pork. <laughs> yeah, don't make this recipe in summer because the pork will be too hot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so you put it in the fridge then. Okay, <laughs> cool it down. Right, so I'm just gonna get. Uh, I'm just gonna get ready and uh, start chopping things. Okay, good. Um, for the recipe, so, so I'm gonna, gonna use this ginger a little later on. Yes, yeah, so, okay, so we're gonna right. we're gonna braise it in the ginger here as well. Okay. Um, and then I've got some spring onions. So. What I want to do with these, I'm just going to cut them into nice pieces, and this is going to be in the in the braise, so it's okay. going to cook down into these pieces. So about two centimeters long. Yep. Yeah, I mean just roughly, but I mean, and then and this is going to give it a really good flavour. You know that ginger and spring onion flavour is really good. I right, give that a good stir around. It does feel really weird boiling this. <laughs> it just doesn't seem well, right. <laughs> well, we're just going to we're just we're just setting it. We just want to firm that meat or you know take up any. Um, excess sort of liquids out of the pork right and then and then we're going to dry it off and the important thing is then after just so you're only doing it for about four minutes but then drain it off and just make sure it's dried because i've got a wok on here which is getting really hot and then we're going to start sauteing it off in the next step i guess you don't segment. want too much water on the pork do you otherwise spit no, it everywhere no, okay, no hot cool. oil and water not a good not a good mix okay is there anything we need to do at the moment no, no. we're just waiting for that okay cool <laughs> we'll wait for this to warm up it is it's warming up and you get the next steps to the sprays pork very soon that's straight after we catch up with holly hey, hopefully Mark, we've got enough food here to feed everybody because it <laughs> smells incredible and we're only part way through. So you've taken out the ginger and the spring onion from our little broth. Yeah, so it's just been cooking for about four or five minutes. Yep. Just simmering away. Drain it off. Yes. So this has just been draining. So just okay, make sure cool. you get as much liquid off as you can. Nice. Get your wok really hot. Hot. Yep. Generous with the oil. Mm -hmm. Get the oil hot. And then just be careful with this stage now because it will spit. Okay. And, uh, and one of the things we find in the restaurant, you know, if you've got skin on a pork belly and you're trying to get it crispy, it, it goes, it just spits okay, everywhere. Cool. So you want to be really careful, but really high heat and then stir fry it. So we're looking for a bit of colour okay. all over the pork, so you can do that. I'll do that. Right, I've got a braising pot here now. So I'm going to put my spring onions 
in there, so that goes in, no heat, that's fine. And then what we're going to do is get a really nice colour on the pork, and then we're going to pop the pork in here, and then we're going to start building our sauce in the wok, and then add it all together. Ah, nice. So and what if you don't have a braising pot? Do you have to go um, and get one? No, use a saucepan. Okay, I'll see. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, use, use whatever you got. I mean, Improvise. You, yeah, I mean, Hang you on. could you could do it in a Dutch oven if you wanted. Lid on, put it in the oven, forget about it if you right. want to do that. You know, you could do it longer and slower. Or just on a really low heat in a, just any, like, sauce pot, sauce pan, anything okay. deep which will fit in, and then a lid on there. Ah, okay, sweet. So, right. this is you calling it a braising pot when really it's just a pot, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I chefified it. Yeah, no, you, <laughs> you did. And you can ship it by your pots at home too. <laughs> okay, cool. That's looking good. <laughs> bit of seasoning. Yeah, a little bit of pepper in there. I'm not going to put any salt in there because we've got a few soy here. We've got a light soy right. and a, a sweet soy as well. So we just want to make sure we don't over. See, it spits. It spits all right. It spits, it? yeah. So just Smells be really, really careful with that. Though. Right. Okay. So we get a bit more. Um, get a bit of colour. Okay. So if you're at home, get a little bit more colour on because colour's flavour. Right. Tip that in there now. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Walk back on the heat. Mm -hmm. Right, brown sugar. Brown sugar? Yeah. So that's going to go in there. Yeah. Right, and what you want to do now is just sort of keep an eye on it. We've got the full heat on there. We just want to melt it. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to pop some ginger in. And that's just going to sort of, you know, you sort of melt mm. it and let it bubble a bit and you'll get those sort of caramel tones of the brown sugar. You don't want to oh. burn it though at this stage, that's important. Okay, it sounded like a hint. And then, <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, ginger goes in there as well, and because of that heat as well, you, you know, you're flavouring that um, sugar with the ginger. It smells That's going to be the base of our sauce. Yeah. So basically, everything everything goes in the pot. I'm just going to warm the start warming this pot really lightly. Right. Have a look at this stage now. So you can see you the happy? sugars sugars melting. It's yeah. all bubbling up, and you can see it's sort of slowly caramelising. So carefully grab some hot water and just pop some in. So you probably just want about a cup full, a little oh. bit more. I give it a really good stir around. I can smell all those flavours coming together nicely there. That's it's it, amazing. just dissolve all your uh, sugar. And once it's dissolved, mm -hmm. now you can turn the heat off now. We're going to pop our um, sweet soy in there. So this is really thick and treacly and, and beautiful, you know. You get this yeah. beautiful sweetness. And you've got, of course, you've got the sugar in there as well. And as that cooks down, it's going to flavour the pork. Um, and then we're going to braise it for about 45 minutes to an hour with the lid on. Okay. So the pork's nice and tender. That's the soy sauce. And the rest of your Chinese cooking wine goes in there. A beautiful, rich colour and a beautiful, rich smell. That's it. You can pop it all in here now. Okay, cool. Bring it up to the boil. Turn the heat down. Lid on. 45 minutes to about an hour. So the pork's nice and tender. Take the lid off. Increase the heat and just bring it down to a glaze so it's nice and shiny and sticky and yummy. Yum! Okay, can't wait to see how this ends up. And as always, the recipe is on our website. Thank you so much, Mark. Brilliant. Maybe you can try this this weekend for your Sunday roast. You know, a little take on it. <laughs> Mark, that looks amazing. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Quite oh, well. Right, okay, oh, brilliant. Good. Can't wait to eat it. Uh, speaking of which, something cool next week. What are you doing? Yeah, well, we're kicking off Spanish week and we're going to make paella.